Hi guys, if your AC uh, fan, um, the, the unit outside, the fan spins and there's no sign of uh, uh, Freon leak and uh, inside the fan still blowing, everything seems to work fine um, but there's the not blowing cold air then um, and then if you check the out the unit outside here and uh, inside by the furnace and if no um, ice up then you need to check your um, capacitor because sometimes the uh, the air when you turn, first turn on the AC it blows cold for a couple of minutes then it's not uh, blowing any cold air um, after that so uh, in uh, my case it's the uh, capacitor um, I'm gonna show you guys how to test the capacitor but first before you open it open it up um, I uh, you need to uh, turn off the power switch uh, go to your control panel and make sure find the AC or something like that and uh, uh, turn it off So inside the house, it's pretty hot right now um, it, say, it says outdoor right here 81 degrees and indoor is 88 right now And of course I turned off the you uh, the um, the AC Because um, the AC is not working properly Okay, here's my control panel and uh, right here, see AC, breaker 7 and 9. So breaker 7 and 9 is in the off position. I use the multimeter to test the uh, capacitor. I set it to ohm uh, 2000K. So on the capacitor, it has um, the herm, the C is for uh, compressor, um, and the uh, fan, the fan, okay? So if one of these, for example, the fan still runs and something like that, but the capacitor um, the, on the C, capacitor uh, fell, test if it fell, then uh, if you still see the fan on the uh, AC unit, if it runs, but uh, it's no cool, maybe something wrong with the uh, capacitor. So I'm gonna test that. So I put the black um, to the uh, four prong, um, the capacitor, and the red um, to uh, the uh, one one post. Oh, I guess you can do um, the other way around, but um, it's not showing anything. Um, so and, uh, it's just one right here. That means the capacitor is failed. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the capacitor and if it if it jump if it goes the number jump uh, go up 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 and uh, uh, it but this one it doesn't uh, do anything it just uh, one uh, it's one uh, it flash for a little, uh, for a second and it goes back to one so I guess um, the capacitor is uh, gone so I'm going to replace the capacitor and um, anyway this one right here I guess this machine somebody serviced before and they did not have the right capacitor um, the right spec so they joined two capacitor together and this one is uh, um, the 55 uh, plus 5 55 and 5 UF uh, capacitor and they joined with the um, uh, 15 UF capacitor so I guess it's, that's the 70 uh, total 70 uh, UF in total but they guess they didn't have that, so they probably joined two together. And this, I guess, this is not the uh, best way to do it. So I'm gonna, I am going to replace with just one capacitor, and it's the 75, um, 370 volts. Um, yeah, so um, they have that, they have this. It's not good. It's not good. They tape it up like this and I'm gonna have to replace it so and uh, before you unhook the uh, the wires make sure you take a picture and then uh, uh, note the location of the wire for example this one is Herm and then a C capacitor and there's a fan right here so they have the uh, little um, print 
um, the la little label on the uh, post by the post of the capacitor. Okay, so I hooked, uh, I unhooked, I took out the um, joint, two joint capacitor, and I put one capacitor with the right uh, uh, spec, and I installed that. And before you turn it on, uh, uh, put on the power switch, and then there's a reset button right here. Press that reset button, and it's the small um, capacitor. This is the bigger one. Uh, this is the run capacitor. I guess I'm gonna re replace it too. So I'm going to I am going to replace it with this uh, new one. So with the small capacitor, um, the, I guess this is for the fan uh, to start it up or something like that. And um, it looks like uh, somebody, uh, the last repairman, um, did this. Um, it should have the bracket or something to hold it, but they didn't. They took it out or they didn't have the bracket for it, and they just left it like that. And it looks kind of uh, dangerous. So I'm going to. Uh, find a spot uh, maybe I'll uh, just uh, zip tie it up right here I'll put a zip tie so that will uh, hold up because there's no bracket for this um, like I said somebody left it out somebody took it off or it didn't come with a bracket I don't know but I'm gonna try to uh, zip tie it here so make it make sure it's uh, clear um, out the wires and then zip tie it here to make it look better and uh, more functional and probably more safe safety Okay, so I, I zip tied the, the capacitor, um, the small capacitor. So now they, they are installed. And um, turn, out the, uh, turn on the power, um, hit the, carefully hit the reset switch if you have to, then uh, cover it up and um, make sure you turn it off and cover it up. Uh, put the cover back on and test it to see if it works. And it's pretty easy to do, to do it, but uh, make sure, like I said, you do this uh, at your own risk. If you don't know what to do, uh, call the uh, expert. But um, it's pretty easy to do. Make sure you turn off the power, like I uh, said, and um, um, make sure the power is off. Uh, and yeah, that's easy. Yep. Okay, I uh, turn on the power. In the control from the control panel, and now I am going to plug this back in. Yep, it ran. I guess uh, I will have to turn off the um, the power and then and, and I'll put back the panel, the cover. So the last uh, service guy um, put in the capacitor, um, the three capacitors, one small one for the uh, fan and uh, um, they, he joined two together, one for the, uh, um, the, f the 15 UF and the uh, uh, 55 UF that, that they add together make 70 the, so that 70 UF and he put he didn't probably didn't have that so he put two together and joined it and that is not the best way to do it and uh, if you buy the right capacitor the right size you don't have to um, join them together and um, you don't have to run the fan separately I guess so I'm going to um, just install one and um, yeah, so that's just one. You don't need to have uh, two or three. Um, like I say, he probably didn't have it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for watching, guys. You guys have a good day. Bye.